Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome to a My Retro Live on this Thursday night. I am coming at you with some Sega Genesis games that just got added to the Nintendo Switch Online service. And I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier that, you know, Sega and Nintendo are actually working together to uh, really update this thing and really make it worth our while. I see a few of you in uh, the house tonight. Hopefully everybody's doing good. 191 Desperado, what's up? Sega, welcome to the next level, right? Just what I needed to end my day, says Horizons 1. Good to see you guys. Um, you know, I enjoy getting to do this every now and then, uh, every week, you know. Actually, tomorrow I'm actually going to be out of town with my wife. We're going uh, out of town to visit some family, so... Uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow, so if I, when the news popped up that this uh, Nintendo Switch online service was updated with these new Sega Genesis games, I thought, hey, it'd be kind of cool to stream these tonight. So let's go ahead and do that, and th that'll be the stream for this week. No stream tomorrow night, guys, but I thought it'd be cool. Hey, Jacobians, what's up? Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Jack Green, I hope for Dreamcast games on Switch. Me too, man. Someday, hopefully, we will get that. Hopefully, we will get that. But right now, we've got Genesis. Maybe one day we'll see Master System and Dreamcast games. One can dream, right? One can dream. Well, let me go ahead and start. I'll start with uh, Space Harrier. Uh, they added... We can go ahead and actually... We'll, we'll play some Space Harrier, but I actually did want to show before... Um, we got Space Harrier and then Sonic Spinball... And then Shining Force 2, all these, all three of these games got added. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. I'm not a fan of Alien Soldier. My OCD is driving me nuts that a Alien Soldier has, is just the title screen. Like, that's crazy to me. They should have at least put some sort of placeholder. I realize it didn't come out in the States or came out on Sega Channel back in the day. But, um, yeah, it's too bad that there's, you know, all these great you know, box art right next to each other. And then all of a sudden this ugly title screen right in the middle there. Um, yeah, it could have been better, but tonight we got space Harrier two, Sonic spinball, Sonic, the hedgehog spinball, uh, the full title that a lot of people don't say actually, cause it's just much better to say Sonic spinball and shining force two, a, a really one of the best RPGs on the Sega Genesis. And, um, let's see. Um, Hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, let me know if the audio is good. Let me know if the sound mix is good. And uh, we'll get into some of these games. I figure I'll play Space Harrier 2 first. I actually had Space Harrier 2. Um, I had Sonic Spinball also, but Sp Space Harrier 2 um, was one that I... I was always kind of disappointed in, quite honestly. I always thought... I mean, for an early night, it was, it was like a, around the launch window uh, of the game, of the, of the system, Sega Genesis. And um, it really, you know, I, I felt like the Master System game played better for whatever reason. The Genesis game is pretty choppy. I know the Master System game is choppy too. It was Hope City and Hell Peak right next to each other. Wow, what a contrast. Okay, let's start with the first level. I believe is, yeah. There we go. Hopefully you guys are doing good tonight. Good to see some of you in the house, some regulars. Yeah, you know, the, the game is pretty choppy. You expected the frame rate to be a little bit better on the, on the Genesis. It was a little more forgiving what the master system was able to do. This is by no means a bad game, honestly, if you ask me. The music is a little lacking. The graphics are a little lacking, but it's still Space Harrier. It's still Space Harrier gameplay. I love it for that reason. It just, you know, it's funny. Space Harrier 2 Outrun on the Sega Genesis just weren't great versions of the respective franchises. Um... But man, when we got Space Harrier on 32X and it was like almost arcade perfect, that, that was the one that I played so much of. The 32X Space Harrier. Let's 
What's up, the Sp uh, Spaniard? How did you meet all those guys from the NES Pursuit? Have you been friends a while? Uh, yeah, we have been friends a while. I'm not sure which episode you saw or what video you saw where we were interacting, but we've known each other for a long, long time. Uh, Riff and I, a.k.a. Aaron, we go back a long ways because we, um, you know, kind of our channels started around the same time, our original channels. Creepy boss right there. Look at that. Oh, come on. All right, I got to get ready. Get ready? <laughs> Um, we used to have channels, my old channel was called I Retro Gamer. his old channel was called Retro Liberty, and we would, uh, we would talk all the time, we became friends, fast friends through that, we collaborated with each other, and, um, yeah, we've just been friends for a long time, and, um, when I, uh, got rid of I Retro Gamer and I was taking a break from YouTube, we re-released the My Retro Life series on his channel. So My Retro Life was relaunched and saw a whole new audience really through his channel. And then when we, when I launched this channel, My, My Retro Life, the official channel, and re-released or re-released new episodes of the show, um, we uh, saw, you know, a whole new audience and things have grown since then. And Aaron and I, we've just remained good friends ever since. We've... It's amazing. We go a ways back now. It's crazy how time has flown. Hey, what's up, Retro Gamer Man? Yeah, I thought, let me jump into this. No new video this week. I've been so busy. I'm going out of town next week with my wife. We're doing a thing, a visiting family. And, um, you know, I just... Um, I'm trying to get into a better workflow. I've got the new My Retro Life main series episode script written and the voiceover is recorded. That will be definitely coming next week. Um, and um, I'm looking to get into a better workflow with the episodes so we get more content out. Um, I'm going to be actually working with a buddy of mine, uh, my, my buddy Brian, who oftentimes um, is seen in the show and been on the show before. And we're going to kind of get together more often uh, through the internet and do kind of a podcast style type thing where we record each other separately and then edit it together, these kind of topical videos. We're gonna, we're gonna turn the, the content that's not the main series, we're gonna start doing content that's more like a video podcast, a little more laid back, a little less editing involved, but sharing the stories together and having these open discussions together about the old days and various topics. Uh, we're going to start doing that. But, so look for that in the future on the channel, on the main channel. Hopefully you guys will like that. I'm excited to be working with him, collaborating with him, and it's going to be fun sharing old stories together. We go back, I mean, Brian and I met when we were three years old, and we're now in our late 30s. So, Get ready. Well, it's not radio. It's not. It's not radio, Jacobians. It's more like uh, the Squadcast, you know, Pixel Game Squad. I don't know if you remember that. You know, it's going to be edited. It's going it, to. They're they're going to feel like you're watching edited video content, and you know, it's not going to be like a podcast. It's not like 20, 30 minutes long an episode. I'm literally going to. We're going to get together on a certain night, record five different topics, and those will be five different like 10 minute long videos edited down. Uh, but we're going to take those discussions and make them, you know, add some shine to it a little bit. Nothing too editing intensive. I love the glow on that robot. Get ready. But I'll let you guys know when those start launching. Thanks, Charles. Appreciate it, man. I'm glad you liked the videos. Uh, my retro, you're tuned into my retro radio. It does roll off the tongue. I, I definitely, I want to steer clear of it being labeled like a podcast there. That's definitely, um, cause I, I want, uh, I want people to feel like they can watch it and not have to like watch something that's 30 minutes long. And I, uh, I think people like to digest smaller videos, uh, shorter videos, sometimes longer. It just depends, I guess. Me, personally, if I see that a video is 30 minutes long, if 
you know, if it's not a topic that I know I'm going to be like glued to the whole time, then I'm not even going to click it. Um, ooh, very sad, depressing, sad music. Well, I mean, we just lost the world. The we are not going to save the fantasy zone. Uh, here we go. Oh no, TR. I'm not TR. Tiara. TSE. Those are my initials. I don't know if I've ever told you guys my middle my middle name before. Just watching the videos, you learn a lot of stuff about how you grew up with the games. Yeah, Retro Gamer Man. Um, and, you know, with this new format, um, we're going to, you know, Brian and I, we we have, we literally talk about games together all the time. Call each other up almost every week. And we just, just our discussions are naturally, other than our families, we, we naturally start talking about the old days and about old games. And, uh, and so... You know, I thought I was actually talking to him once uh, recently, and I was like, "Man, we should like totally. This should be. It's like Jerry and George. Like this should be the show. <laughs> uh, Jerry and George on Seinfeld. Yeah, this this is the show. Um, and uh, so yeah, I think I think that we just have a lot to say and a lot to talk about, and so many shared experiences through video games over the years that." Um, it should be good. Hopefully we can develop sort of a, if you guys are familiar with like Happy Console Gamer, you know, him and Rob, Johnny and Rob have this really great dynamic, you know, the great rapport and great chemistry on screen. And, you know, Brian and I, we go back so far. We've known each other all of our lives. So I think we can do some special videos for sure. Uh, let's see. You can never be ready for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, we're we're not getting we're not gonna get ready. Yeah, yeah, for real. I love Space Harrier. Space Harrier is one of my favorite games of all time, the arcade game, um, and uh, I just love it so much. It's uh, it, I'm glad it's here on this uh, the Space Harrier two. Actually, this is gonna make me want to play this and, and master it a bit more than I did in the past, uh, because I never beat Space Harrier two. I came really close. I can come. I can come really close to beating the original Space Harrier. Um, but truth be told, I've never beaten it. And, um, it's a good game. It's, it's, I mean, this, this, this game, the original arcade is incredible, man. Wouldn't that be great guys? If they like put out a 32 X collection, oh man, you know, I just wish, I, I hope we get a lot of this stuff. Like, you know, we, we have the arcade perfect uh, version of space Harrier, you know, through the Sega ages, which is cool. But, um, yeah, let me give this one more go. And before we change the game, actually, you know what? Let me play the, um, I've got the Mega Drive version here. See, I downloaded through the, um, Japanese eShop. Uh, I downloaded the Nintendo, uh, sorry, the Sega Mega Drive online. And it's so cool. You get to play the Japanese versions of all these games and they, they show you the box art for all of them. Let's. Let's look at what the box art looks like on the um, the Japanese versions here. Sonic Spinball. That is, I don't know. I like both, but I think I like the colorful nature of this one more. That's really cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that version of the box art before. I think that's pretty sweet. Space Hero 2 is the same thing, basically, which is great. It's great. I love that you see more of it, though, on the Mega Drive version. And then um, Shining Force 2, uh, you know, very Japanese anime style, which, of course, is closer to the source material. I love this box art. I love the American box art, too. I, actually, I'm quite fond of it. Uh, to me, it's iconic. It looks really cool, the American one, but I like the Japanese, too. Now, this, this, <laughs> this is going to be hard to play the Japanese version with that, without knowing Japanese. But uh, let's jump into a little bit more Space Harrier 2, but maybe the, the Japanese version here and see if there's any differences. Um, Retro Gamer Man, I downloaded the app, the Mega Drive app from the Japanese eShop. If you create an account, uh, a separate profile on your Switch and link it to a Nintendo account online that's set up to receive Japanese, where the region is Japanese. Anyone can do this. You could do this. Um, then uh, you can then 
access the Japanese eShop that way, through that profile. Nope, you don't need a VPN or anything. You just need a Nintendo account. Go to Nintendo.com, sign up with a new account. Um, like, s sign up for a new Nintendo Online account. And um, make sure you set, when you're setting up your profile, set your region to be Japanese. And then one, when you link that profile to your profile on the Switch, like you create another profile. See, if you look, I've got, um, oh wait. I've got a second profile here that's, oh, you can't see it on the screen there. It actually says Retro Tiger's Japanese, or JP is how I labeled the, uh, there, there's, that's what it looks like. I created a separate profile for just the, the Japanese eShop just to use that. And um, yeah, you can do it. Anybody can do it. There's a couple of, of more, more in-depth guides online that you can look at. So it looks like the Japanese version is like exactly the same. It's even all in English. They might start you out with more guys though. Nice GameCube. Yeah, you're using are you using the Dolphin emulator? It's a great emulator, Dolphin. Michael B. What is up, my friend? Michael B, the game genie in the house. We go way back now. It's been a long time, man. It's been a long time since I've known you. Um, I have not beaten the Joker yet, but you know Manny did. If you go back in the archive here, my cousin Manny and I, we were... He was playing, I was watching, and, and he beat the Joker on NES Batman. He did it. I watched him do it, but he, he actually did it. He's the king of games. He's... I couldn't quite muster it up, but he did it. Yeah, if anybody is not familiar with Michael B, definitely check out his awesome channel. He has been on the YouTube retro scene for years now. I guess I have too, that means. Jeez. We're getting old, man. We're getting old. We got kids. Everybody's getting older. I was looking at some old videos of like uh, Aaron, like retro liberty stuff. I was like, man, he's aged. We all have. We've all aged. It's crazy to look back. You know, some you know, some of these you know, Mike, it's this is gonna be the uh you know what? This is the uh, 2023 will be the ten year anniversary of me doing um um this uh, you know, not this version of the channel, but like I've been on YouTube doing retro gaming videos. Really, the very first beginning of this channel started 10 years ago next year. It will be the 10th anniversary of the original incarnation of this channel. It's crazy. Get ready. <laughs> yeah, your beard's gotten gray. Everybody's getting older. It's funny. But you, man, you wear it good, man. You wear it good. Die, witch! Gosh, freaky. That's actually pretty scary. Comes right up to you. Imagine if the Genesis had 3D glasses like the Master System did. That would have been so spooky and cool. Looking in 3D. Okay, I cannot look at the other screen and do this. I can't read the comments right now, guys. Sorry.
Uh, all these giant frogs. Those guys were definitely not in the Master System and Arcade version, the first game. Giant frogs in the Fantasy Zone. I love the lightning effects. The game, you know, this version, it might be kind of choppy, and that's where I think a lot of the complaints come from, is, you know, it's very choppy. But you know what? And, you know, it didn't really do too much different with the, with the game, with the franchise. But to have a, a pretty comp, you know, a pretty competent version of Space Harrier when the system launched, you got to remember this is a launch title. A lot of people forget that when they play this. This is like one of the first games that came out on the Genesis. And it's doing a, a pretty good job, if you ask me. Like, it's not my favorite. There, it's not my favorite Space Harrier game. But um, it's not bad either. I love those lightning effects, like I said earlier. There's just some cool effects in this game. The music, it, it, you know, could be better. It's got that really old, early launch, you know, 1989 Sega Genesis kind of sound. The, the Genesis was still trying to find, you know, kind of to figure out what it was going to be. I mean, it, it, it had a great identity early on at launch, you know, bring the arcade home, you know, arcade experience. But um, it still was trying to find itself. You know, you had Alex Kidd in the Enchanted yeah, really? Castle, which was pretty awful actually <laughs> I mean it's not the worst but the controls are really bad it's not it's not a great game it's not um, and so I don't think the Genesis really you know Sega really found themselves I mean really 91 was the big year with Sonic but I think not, by 1990 was a good year too I think they were really starting to get they hit the you know they were they're doing really well by 1990 you had like Moonwalker, Alien Storm, some really good games came out in 1990. Kid Chameleon has a great soundtrack. Yeah, you're right. Kid Chameleon is very underrated. Yeah, no, it was mind-blowing. Altered Beast, you know, Altered Beast played incredibly well and looked amazing compared to the arcade. I mean, it was so close to the arcade. And um, Altered Beast was a great pack, and I know a lot of people hate on that game, and I put out a whole video about why it's a great game, actually. So a lot of people hate on it, but it was mind-blowing back in the day. I mean, 89... You look at a game like this or Alter... Let me pause it for a second. You look at a game like this or Altered Beast in 89, man, at home, you were... You you know, you hadn't even... Super Mario 3 hadn't even come out in the United States yet in 1989. Or Canada or, you know, wherever... North America. It, it, I think it had come out in um, Japan. But um, it's it's crazy when you think about some of the games that were coming out on NES in 89 and you look at the graphical leap from let's let me think of an 89 game like Mickey Mouse Capade <laughs> I mean Mickey Mouse Capade versus uh, maybe that's a bad example all right Super Mario 2 okay maybe it was was it 88 yeah uh, that and then you look at Altered Beast it was a it was a beast it was a, it was a, it looked insane, like jaw dropping, literally. Like you could, I mean, how, how can you fathom having that at home? I, it was just incredible, especially if you were a little kid, like I was. And then like you went from that kind of cartoony, like really simple graphics in comparison and then altered beast with its, with its title screen opening of the giant eyeball and the, 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 the beast transformation sequences and just everything about that game was like insane insane this is a cool little hoverboard deal I forgot about the hoverboard in this one I don't, I don't, I don't play this one as much as the other ones the 32x game the 
which is the arcade game and the, the master system. The, the Turbo Graphics version is really good too, actually. I like it. for a little drink here. Hey, what's up? You need a Tic Tac? How you doing, man? We got 23 people watching. Hope you guys are having a good night. If you can, go ahead and hit that like button. It does kind of help bring more people into the stream. And uh, we'll see how many people can get here watching tonight. Uh, that's what I should have done, actually, was add some tags to it. I didn't add any tags. Maybe I could do that real quick. Uh, from what I researched, yeah, Golden Axe, Revenge of Shinobi. Oh my gosh, it was just incredible stuff. Incredible. Let's see. From what I researched, Mario 3 was oddly enough released on the Play Choice 10 in America. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I heard about that. What's going on, G-Dub? How, do how you doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, let me go ahead and add some tags here to the video details. Sorry. I didn't do that when I started it. Sega games, Sega, Sega Genesis games, <laughs> Sega Genesis online. These are the things you got to think of with YouTube. It's crazy. All these tags, Nintendo switch online. Maybe that one too. There you go. I won't go crazy on the tags, but Maybe some more people will jump in. Hot Sega action, says Horizons 1. Yeah, I know. Isn't that one of the commercials or something? With games like Altered Beast and Strider, the Genesis looked amazing back in 1989 and even today. I still love the graphics. I do. It's The Genesis, I've said it before, is, is like my favorite gaming console. If you combine the Sega CD and the 32X libraries and just everything that it stood for, it's my favorite um, retro gaming console. What are your thoughts on Streets of Rage movie in the works? Brendan says, um, Brendan, I am very, I'm cautiously optimistic. I think uh, if Sega knows what they're doing, if they work with the right people, um, they could build a really cool cinematic universe. If they're not all interconnected, then they can at least put out quality stuff. I think, uh, you know, the director, writer of John Wick is involved. And um, I'm told, I actually haven't seen John Wick. But I've told it's really good and that he's a great fit for the Streets of Rage. So here's hoping. Here's hoping it's awesome. Yeah. All right. Let me jump back into this. <laughs> the music. The music can get a little odd in this game. That weird kind of get ready. phasing or bending of the, the wave there. Like the... It's good. It's very iconic. It has its own f sound, this game. Oh, man. Get ready. That's literally when he dies. It's the same exact sound effect from the, the arcade game. The get ready is a little different. I think that's changed. Oh man, just not cutting it. Get ready. Let's see if we can get to the end of this level. I love how. There's a different song for every boss. That's pretty unique in games. Oh, that's a cool boss too. Look look at the design of that like tiger bird. <laughs> Love it. Tar tar like a tiger gargoyle.
Nope. Uh. I'm fighting the Atari Jaguar here. This is where Atari got the idea. Have you played Atari today? Oh gosh. He's getting pretty intense. He's... Gosh. Okay. <sighs> okay, I gotta beat this guy. Get ready. Man, now he's purple? He went from pink to purple? I would have thought purple would well, pink would be one of the last there we go. This is how it would run on Atari Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. It probably would. It'd probably run like this, maybe have a, a few richer textures and uh, But it would <laughs> it would run like this. If they, you know, it would run even slower if they tried to make uh, the, the floor polygons. Checkered Flag is one of the choppiest messes I've ever played. And I love the Jaguar. I, I love the quirkiness of it. I think it has an interesting library with a, a lot of really good games, actually, if you dig deep. Check out these comments. I'm honestly surprised the Sonic movies have been as good as they are. Me too, man. It's a it's a minor miracle that they're very good. They're very good movies, and they're doing it right. Better call Saul actor Bob. Yeah, hey, should be good. This is <laughs> Tari to Nintendo Switch. Do you do it, cowards? Man, can you imagine? They, they announce... That would be an April Fool's joke. Big announcement from Nintendo. Atari Jaguar Online. Nintendo Switch Online brings the Atari Jaguar <laughs> and its entire library. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? People would... People would know what to think with that, but man, it would open up... It would introduce people to those games. So many new people to those games. Yeah. And turbo turbo graphics on it would be great. I th I actually think that could happen. Uh, well, I got a little further than last time. I love how it's so sad the music, and then it's like super happy right afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> what's up, retro couple? Nintendo should bring 32X with all 10 of its games. <laughs> uh, I, I would love to see 32X on here. Just add to the Genesis side of things. Like, just add 32X and Sega CD games, if you ask me. Start doing that. Sega CD has enough games for its own app, though. Like, little icon. But if they bundled them all into the Genesis, I'd be fine with that, too. Yeah, the TurboGrafx Mini having that is great like that's fantastic oh i'm glad you enjoyed that stream charlie uh okay let's let's play a different game guys let's check out what else so i'm, I'm in the japanese version of the app and um they also brought sonic spinball let's uh let's go back to the american version or North American, I should say. Jacobians, you just got tr a cliffhanger. Oh, man. Cliffhanger. It's a great game. Like, the snowboarding parts are incredible in that. The fighting parts, are they get a little tedious. The beat-em-up sections. I, love, I do love the cover art for this Sonic Spinball. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Dial Up Chronicles for the super chat. It says, just got home from work in time to see the stream. Definitely, man. 
appreciate that contribution. You know, Sonic Spinball gets a, a lot of hate, too. I never understood it. I always thought it was such a cool, you know, cool thing. It's kind of kind of sluggish, kind of choppy, but, you know, it wasn't... I don't think it was developed by Sega of Japan. I think one of the other studios that Sega had at the time did it. Um, but I honestly always had a lot of fun with this. I can oh, I could never beat the third board. Never could beat the third level. And they're big. They're huge levels. But lots of great memories with this. Honestly, yeah, I never really had a problem with this game. I remember hearing back in the day that the Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin pinball stage with Mysterio on the Sega CD was uh, like a testing ground for Sonic Spinball. I don't know if that was true or not. Makes sense if it was. It's like a proof of concept type thing they were working on. What was cool about this was like turning a pinball game, it was like half pinball, half platformer with like things you had to unlock and you, know, you could control him on the platforms. Oh, come on. I thought I had hit that one, okay. And you had these objectives, you had to collect the emeralds. And it was great, I always really liked Sonic Spinball. Now, a Sonic Spinball remake would be interesting. I'd be down for a full, full-blown remake of Spinball. Like maybe some, uh, maybe 60 frames a second, because this doesn't really. I think this runs at 30, and um, just make it really, uh, just just build it from, rebuild it from the ground up with new sprites. You know, make it make it like the actual Sonic the Hedgehog sprites from the Genesis era. You know, the the Sonic 3 sprites or something like that. Bigger sprites, better backgrounds. I think that would go over really well, wouldn't it? I'd be down. Make it play a little bit better. Oh, I gotta get through those pipes. What's going on, Math Guy? How you doing, man? And hello to anybody else who's jumped in the chat. Hope you guys are having a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Playing these new Sega Genesis games that just came out on the Nintendo Switch Online platform. I think we're ha we got a nice little collection going here on the online. And I thought I'd go ahead and do it tonight because I am not gonna. Oh, let me get the emerald. I'm not gonna be able to stream tomorrow night. Um, Megan and I, my wife, we're gonna go out of town and visit some family in Dallas. This game actually, for a time before before I actually figured out how to really do it, I, it used to give me anxiety as a kid, like something about it. But then I started to kind of learn how it works, and I no longer. Granted, the later stages get pretty anxious, but all right, safety lids open. I gotta hit that switch. No. I'm not going to rewind. I'm going to play this the leg legit way. Relaxing. Oh, you're relaxing. Yeah, you guys are relaxing. You want lag? Play the Game Gear version. I never played the Game Gear version or, or the Master System version, which I guess is basically like the Game Gear version. Does it lag quite a bit? You know, it's funny, I've been complaining on Twitter a lot about the Sonic Origins uh, release. I, I don't think it's really worth the $45 price tag, long story short. Um, 
But it, it is interesting that with this being on Switch Online now, if, when that game comes out, you will have the ability on your Switch to play Sonic 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, and Sonic Spinball, and Sonic CD. So the Switch is turning into the little Sonic powerhouse, the little Sonic machine. <laughs> we need more, but... Um, it's pretty cool. And Sonic Mania, of course, as far as that classic Sonic stuff goes. Okay, I gotta flip the switch up here. There we go. Nope, already did that. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games I could just play for hours and just kind of get sucked into. Ugh, get up there. Definitely a favorite amongst video pinball games. This and Alien uh, Crush on the Turbo Graphics used to play like crazy. Okay, come on. Way to go, Sonic! Ooh, that wasn't fun. Okay. Bring me back down here. Oh. There we go. Oh, well, that didn't take too long. That's another way to get up to the where we where we need to go. You go up there or through that section with the two and the, you have to do that three times. Mario, Mario Falcone. Yeah, man, I love this game too. Oh, that was not good. I love how it's like Robotnik laughing at you. Machine laugh. <laughs> Two emeralds remaining. Good luck. This was a great game to tie you over for uh, Sonic 3. This came out in between Sonic 2 and 3. And uh, really, they, they pushed this out because they weren't going to make the holiday release for Holiday 93. And so Sega got a team together to do Sonic Spinball to get it out for the Christmas holiday season. And... Um, they didn't disappoint. It was a great... It really held you over nicely um, for uh, 3, if you ask me. I think 3 ended up coming out in February. Oh, come on. Okay, no. We're, we, I'm going to rewind a little bit. Let's go back to when I was over here. Um, where... Okay. Yeah. Let's go back here. It's cheating, I know, but part of the fun. Who has the time these days, you know? One of the perks of the Nintendo Switch Online. Come on, I really would like to beat this stage before we check out Shining Force. There, come on. There we go. That's one way to do it. Oh no, I forgot I got it. No, no, see that's not good. Okay. 
I love this song too. There's a great remix of this song on the. Um... No, let's not do that. <laughs> on the. Uh... <laughs> I just did it again. Sonic, uh, so Sonic CD, there was a special, um, man, I keep bombing here, soundtrack that came out if you pre-ordered the game or something like that, and, uh, or bought it at a certain store like Toys R Us, Sonic the Hedgehog CD, Sonic Boom, it was called, Sonic Boom soundtrack, and I played that soundtrack, we played that soundtrack like crazy when the, when the game came out. Uh, I gotta go this way. Opposite way of where you were. Yep. Alright, two emeralds. Oh, you got that on eBay? Jacobian's cool. Yeah, it's great. I love that soundtrack. And, um, there's a great remix that Spencer Nielsen did of this song. I believe it was Spencer Nielsen that worked, that did it. It's like a bonus track on that CD. Show of hands, who all played this game back in the day and who has beaten this stage? Played it, but never passed it. Played this all the time on my Sega Nomad. Man, the Nomad battery life on there was horrible, but man, that was such a cool console. No, I didn't want to go up here. I guess it doesn't matter. I can go this way. Oh no, I gotta hit that switch. So let me just do this. Paddle myself back over here. Come back down here. We got to get to the other side. There we go. All right, now I got to complete this process here. Such a funky song. There we go. All right, now. Go up here. No, I don't want to go there. I don't want to. <laughs> Sound like a little kid. I bet there's some people who are so good at this they can just tear through this stage so fast. Yeah, what's up, Brian? Brian's in the chat. Shining Force 2 on the Switch. I figured, I knew you'd be happy, man. As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, Brian's gonna be thrilled. Absolutely. The Sega online service on the Switch is shaping up quite nicely. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool because I actually am gonna be I'm gonna go out of town uh, with Megan tomorrow night. Uh, going, we're going to Dallas, Brian, and so I was like, 
I think it'd be cool to actually, th this announcement came out, I was like, let me hop on and do a stream tonight because I won't be able to do one tomorrow. All right, here we go. Let's get the last emerald uh, this way. All right, so now we got to get up to Robotnik. Which is easier said than done. You got to... Well, actually, I almost did it. <laughs> that was pretty close. Ah, there we go. Not bad. Come on. All right, here we go. He's a fun boss. If you can get up there, I love getting up into there and just, like, smacking him around. There we go. Can I pull this off in one go? Let's see. What's up, uh, Sega Steve? How you doing, man? Yeah, I thought let me let me go ahead and stream the Genesis games that just came out on the Switch Online service. I love this uh, the way he explodes here. And I love this, like, bonus round, which is more like a traditional pinball. I love the almost, like, pseudo 3D uh, way they drew the sprites on the bonus round. Okay, here we go. Like, this totally, this game should totally have been on the Sonic Origins collection. It was an early, they should have put out all the Genesis games, at the very least. Spinball and um, 3D Blast should have been on there. Just make it a little bit more worth our while. Those games have been out for years, and I know they're remasters. I know they're remasters. I get it. But, um... It doesn't take away from the fact that we've owned those games so many times before, and it's just getting to the point where it's like, you want us to plunk down another $40 on four games that we've had for... that we've bought so many times before? I mean, that's my whole gripe. And a lot of people on Twitter freaking out at, you know, a lot of Sonic fans are like, stop hating! Stop hating on Sonic. Its origins is great. There's nothing wrong with it. You can't have an opinion. Oh, people, man. Oh, I love this song. This stage is great. Whoa. I think I can continue, right? Let's see. Yeah, or maybe I got an extra life. Thirty people in the chat. Welcome tonight. Hope you guys are having a good time. I'm checking out these games that came out on on the Nintendo Switch Online tonight. Sonic Spinball is one of them. Hope everybody's doing good. I see Green Devil, Retro Reset. Welcome, guys. This song is my jam. Seriously, I love this tune. I've, I, I honestly, obviously, I'm, a lot of occasions actually put this song on and just listen to it and just rock out to it. Especially the remixed version that's on that Sonic Boom soundtrack. Th this level can be pretty tricky. What you have to do. Is it just, I don't think I'm alone in thinking that Sega really like, I feel like their games on the Genesis really encapsulated the 90s in such a uh, profound way. Like when I play Sega Genesis games, I, I really, more so than when I play Super Nintendo games, kind of feel like I'm transported back into that time period with 
just the attitude era and just the the, the kind of the music. I think a lot of Sega Genesis games really um, were able to capture some of the music of the time. The I don't know. Maybe I'm alone in thinking that, but I don't think so. All right, here we go. We gotta. The trick here is to get on top of the chicken and bounce up. Ro robot chicken! This is where they got the idea. Okay. Yep. That was partly what was really fun about this game too, was like figuring out how to get, it was kind of tricky, but rewarding once you figured out how to get the emeralds in each stage. Oh, we even could do a spin dash here. All right, I don't have, an, you have to have the emeralds to go up there. Oh, no, actually I, want, I think I want to go down here. Yeah. catch up on some of the chat here. No, you're definitely correct on that. Attitude era. So you were a WWF kid. Yeah, I was, man. Attitude. I agree, Tyler, from Physical Switch Collection. Yeah, it's the only version of Doom I could play before getting a nicer PC. Oh, yeah? which I missed which version that was. Green Devil, sorry. Uh, I agree, Tyler. Um, Sega Steve, I agree. Playing physical Genesis game in a t is a time machine. Made even better when you pop out of the clamshell, yep. Pull out the cartridge, lock it into the console. And now it had that kind of, you locked it in, locked and loaded. Mez TV, what's up, man? I still remember being floored by the opening of Link to, pa Link to the Past. Walking out in the rain was like, wow to me. No, that was incredible. I mean, it was, I mean, the best of both worlds. I loved how both consoles were both very different from each other both giving every every gamer a different experience and you know all the gamers of the time just benefited from it i mean it's a lost era because nowadays it's like almost everything just gets released you know especially playstation and xbox it's like not not as many it doesn't feel like there's as many exclusives um but i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe that's rose colored glasses rose tinted glasses uh, my retro power for you and Brian's show. How about my retro? Oh yeah, Brian, if you're still here, I was talking a little bit about how we're going to be doing a podcast style show soon, uh, for the channel. I think honestly, Jacobian is probably just going to fall under my retro life is the name. And, you know, it's not going to be like a, a different show or something. I, I kind of have fallen out of that. Um, I used to do that a lot on iRetro Gamer where I'd call something a different name and, I just think nowadays I'm going to have everything just fall under my retro life and make it less confusing that way. Um, do, 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 I miss when I brought home a game and I didn't have to spend an hour updating it before I could play. Oh gosh, I know, right? One of my Gen my one of my Genesis games, X Men Clone Wars. That one of your favorites, Mario? Yeah, uh, that one's really good. I never could get very far in that one. It was always very difficult for me. Um, let's see how much farther I can get in this Sonic Spinball game on this stage two. Um, I gotta get up there in that right corner. If I am not mistaken. Oh, it brought me up there. I'm actually trying to remember what it is I gotta do. Oh yeah, I gotta keep knocking that down. Oh, that's right.
Huh, maybe it... Huh. Was I supposed to keep, like, bouncing myself up to get the emerald? Maybe I just did that wrong. Yeah, there we go. Yep. I thought that was right. Uh, okay. Let's do the same thing on the other side. This is probably my favorite track in the game, music-wise. Oh, get up there. Ah, come on. Oh, that's another way you can go. It's actually if you knock that door open. Two times multiplier. Uh, I'm just trying to get over there. Oh, come on. I don't have the patience to actually go through the whole stage again. I'm going to use the rewind function. I know it's cheating. One of the, Like I said before, it's one of the perks of the Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, come on. No, no, no. I keep sliding around. Okay. What's cool about that is you have to trigger that. You actually have to push the button to get those uh, steam pipes to burst. I think the same development team that worked on Sonic Spinball did Comic Zone. Oh, how come I can't? Seem to get in there. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see here. X Men Mutant Apocalypse. Oh, yeah, that was a great one. We've got an upcoming main series episode um, of My Retro Life I'm going to be doing that is all about X-Men. Uh, Dad recorded Brian and I actually playing X-Men games on one of my birthdays and a lot of X-Men footage. I've been waiting to do this episode. So that, that game's actually in there, um, Mutant Apocalypse, back in 1994 or 5. Um, Mr. is also streaming... Oh, yeah, GameScan TV. Yeah, the GameScan TV Nights episode. I'll need to re-release that, both that and the Contra 3 episode. Yeah, Brian was in the Contra 3 one that we did years ago. That was before I'd even done a YouTube channel. It was really, that was my first foray into retro gaming content creation, but it wasn't for what this channel is. And so really... That was back in 2011 or 20, 2010, 2010. So I've already passed that 10 year anniversary on that guy. But uh, for GameScan TV, that was the first kind of thing I did. But the first version of this channel that you're watching actually started in uh, 2013, uh, 2013 was when it launched as SegaMasterSystem.com. And uh, so we are actually... Um, coming up on the 10 year anniversary next year. Uh, no, I don't want to go up there. I 
Am I doing this wrong? Am I not? Am I not supposed to uh, go through it that way again? How, now, how, how do I return back to that one section where I get the emerald? Because now it seems like I can't get in get in that little pipe. Now let's see what happens if I go up here. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Um, maybe this is where I needed to be all along, actually. No, because I think... We'll see. Once again. Well, that was pretty cool. Oh, there we go. That's where I needed to be. There we go. Alright, now we gotta go fight Robotnik. What's up, Retro Video Game Attic? How you doing, man? You gotta go up one more. There we go. This one's pretty fun, too. Boss battles are... I, I, this is a great game. It's just it's one of the best video pinball games, honestly. I wish, obviously, it, it was maybe a little more... Uh, better frame rate, maybe, because it's a little on the choppy side. But nothing game breaking at all, and um, it uh, just is a lot of fun. This game. Ah, there we go. No, 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 no. Ah. Got that one. <laughs> it's hard to stay in there. There we go. You gotta kind of get him at an angle. Huh. I just jumped right back in there. That was cool. No. This is like this music. This song, this song is so cool. It's like a... I feel like I'm in a... a Fact a Halloween factory in the nineties. It's like a Halloween factory meets a nineties dance club. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit just for the sake of time. Oh gosh. One more to go. Pretty horrific boss, actually. It's like a Robotnik Halloween monster. <laughs> it's like a, a it's like Robotnik meets a boss from Shinobi Three, like in the evil alien lab. There we go.
That's right, Brian. It's not cheating, it's a feature. Emulation's pretty good, as far as I can tell. I think they've done a good job. No complaints. It's not M2 level, but it's... I, I have to admit, unless it's glaringly obvious, I have a hard time noticing some of these you know, emulation problems. I notice it when the sound emulation's bad because I'm very in tune with what the games used to sound like. And then if the, the input lag is horrible, then yeah, of course, they did a terrible job, but uh, I don't really experience too much input lag problems on here. <laughs> yeah, the N64 uh, has had some problems. And I, I've... Uh, They've gotten better with it, but uh, I was disappointed when it first launched because, yeah, there's some pretty glaring problems with, like, Mario 64 and some of the games, but it's gotten better. It's gotten to the point where I can tolerate it and have fun with it. Ah, man. I love how these bonus stages are basically Sonic, you see his hands on the side, Sonic playing a pinball game. It's super meta. It's a game within a game. For example, Sonic games are so laggy on the Genesis collection compared to Sonic 2. And yeah. Yeah, I, I remember them, I remember that Genesis collection having some input lag issues. Now, I gotta be honest, this stage, I don't know if I ever actually beat this one when I was a kid. This stage gets long and difficult. Manny actually sent me a tape when we were kids of him beating this, of beating Sonic Spinball, and it's really, really hard. That last stage, the fourth stage, is so long and complicated and amazing, really. To watch somebody beat that. Sorry, going nowhere. Wow, I already got an emerald. I'm actually going to create a suspend point. Maybe one day I'll come back to that. But since we got Brian in the chat, um, let's go ahead and play some um, Shining Force 2. Get that started. Because this stream, you know, the whole reason for me streaming was, you know, the idea of streaming was to stream these new Sega games that came out on the, um, these old Sega games that came out on the new Nintendo Switch Online. Stay here, okay? Little mouse character. I never really played this much. I used to. I think I watched Brian play this game when we were kids. He. I think he brought it over to the house one one time when he was staying over, and I remember watching him play Shining Force. I think it was this one, maybe the first one. But I want to say it was this one though, because I remember like the cardboard box and the you know, it was one of those later Genesis games that had the cardboard box. What's up, Big Keith? How you doing, man? I'm using Matthew. I'm using the Pro Controller. Love the Slade, the Ninja Rat. 
digging this music. Got some really good Genesis music vibes from this. Very Indiana Jones. Raiders of the Lost Shining Force. Raiders of the Lost Genesis Cartridge. Yeah, the Adventures of Sonic cartoon was kind of fun in like a Looney Tunes kind of way, but I always was a bigger fan of this uh, Sat AM cartoon was much better. The one with the Freedom Fighters and Ro Ro Robotnik is actually like menacing and evil. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually, I dig the, you know, kind of cartoony, ridiculous version of Robotnik too, but. Are you using the Genesis Saturn Retrofit controller, Tyler? Makes me. No, I'm using actually the Pro Controller Retro Couple. Uh, just the Pro Controller. Um, I could be using that. I don't know why I'm not. I have the Saturn RetroBit controller. I should have plugged that in. I forgot that that was compatible. Oh, this was the opening. I, I didn't know I could skip it. That's funny. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. <laughs> You're finally here. You look so confused. You don't know why you're here. Yes, yes, I used a spell on you. <laughs> Where are you going? You can't escape from this mystery forest unless you help me. <laughs> what you going to do? <laughs> Sorry, terrible, terrible voice ever. Uh, I'm going to start. It's my only option, I think. Ah, oh, great sound. It really reminds me of... Um, who should this kid be named? Oh. Oh, pardon me, guys. Um, I guess, I guess it's me. Personalizes it, you know. I always did that in RPGs. Would name the character myself because it made me feel like I was on the adventure. Tyler, nice. Hey, thank you. Um, normal. <laughs> I love it. Super. Ouch. A difficulty so hard, it physically hurts you. Okay, this, uh, automatically the, the sound chip that they're using, like the driver, uh, I always get confused. Uh, the chip or driver, when, it, when it, you know, gems, you know, the, the, that's the driver, right? Correct me if I'm wrong a new mistake I feel like I'm making but um, the sound of this game sounds a lot like World of Illusion if you guys are familiar with World of Illusion it might be the same composer they're using the same driver maybe um, but it sounds a lot like World of Illusion Um, excuse me, pardon me. Sir Astral. Very close to Astal, a great Sega Saturn game. He thinks of you as his grandson. Sometimes he may badger you, but that's because he loves you. Aww. Hey, Horizons, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being here. Have a good night, man.
Never got into Saturn. I have a lot of games on OpenMU. Yeah, man, the Saturn is great, and OpenMU does a really good job emulating them. So many RPGs like have these these guards guarding the castle where you can't enter quite yet. Oh yeah, look at that. Cure, raise the person from the dead. Uh, promote, interesting. Let me go ahead and save it, why not? Great soundtrack, I love it, I love it. Great move for Sega to put this on the online service, seriously. Need, it needed an RPG like this. I mean, it had Fantasy Star 2, but it needed, it needed this. This, this. this is a heavy hitter for sure. Are you still talking to me? <laughs> What's wrong with you? There we go. I guess that was my seat, not next to her. Is everybody here? Okay, let's start. Where is Jafar? I mean, Jahar. Overslept again. Oh, well. I, my mind is in the 90s right now. That's why I said Jafar. Can't wait for him. Where did I leave off yesterday? Look, it's like... Uh, it's like uh, Gandalf. King, he has fallen down and is in great pain. <laughs> Was it Humpty Dumpty fell, fell down again? Okay. Sorry, kids. I have to go pick up the king. The king is sick. Wait, he looks like he's a, a rascal. He looks like he's a troublemaker. But I think it must be something else. He was acting so strange. Hey, Chester. Let's go to the castle. <laughs> we can't, Sarah. We're just kids. They won't let us in. Never mind that. I have a plan. Tyler, maybe we can meet the princess. Are you going with us? Yeah. Mm, having a really Larry David moment here. Okay. Sarah the Prist and Chester the Nitten have uh, joined your forces. All right, will they let me into the castle now? Yep, they're going to let me in begrudgingly. Somebody needs life alert? <laughs> oh yeah, the king. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Where is he? King? Are you the king? No, he's in bed. Sick. Where is he? Pardon me, Grandma. There he is. <laughs> oh, Father, please wake up. Sarah Straw. Mm. Mm. Nothing wrong with his body, but... He is suffering badly from something. Perhaps it might be... Well... Hmm. 
What are you doing here? Oops. Sorry, sir. Well, we just followed you. Don't lie to me. You wanted to see the castle, didn't you? Sir Strong, who are they? Oh, well, uh, they're my pupils. I, I haven't really got locked in a voice for him yet. I keep kind of going everywhere. Um, I didn't mean for... That's a terrible wizard voice. I gotta come up with something different. A straw glares at Tyler. You said the door of the ancient tower is open. It must be a connection between the open door and the king's sickness. Of course, that's the reason. <laughs> now, pupils, follow me. Don't give me any more trouble. We're giving him trouble, trouble. Okay, um... All right, we got to save the old Nat King Cole King. Nat King Cole, is that right? That's not Nat King Cole. I'm kind of, uh... Properly serve your king. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready for battle. Beautiful game, really. Especially when we get into the battles. Um, no, wrong way. Dial up. This is your favorite Sega game by far. That's awesome. I think we got good here. Yeah. There you are, Tyler. Stay here. I'll look. I'll take a look inside the tower. Still not liking the voice I have for him. Hmm, what a mysterious tower. I wonder who built it. I have a strange feeling about this place. I would too. This place would give me the heebie-jeebies, for real. Oh, what's this? I think I've seen this symbol before. What's happening? Look, something is appearing. What's that? It's the boss. An evil gizmo. Mogwai? <laughs> A devil that possesses people. Why are you here? Because he wouldn't have a game if he wasn't. You're here to possess the king, aren't you? I won't let you pass. Did somebody throw water on Gizmo? He multiplied. This doesn't look good. We'll stop the evil Gizmo here. Tyler, defeat these fiends. Didn't realize this was a Gremlins game. All right, now we're into the strategy portion. her follow closely behind thinking if I remember correctly she's the healer um, Chester does he have long range no maybe magic uh, I don't want to move him that close Great soundtrack, seriously. 
This game's legit. Um, I guess I can try to go after him right now. Probably a bad move. No opponent here. They're, they're not going to let me fight the, the main guy? ganging up on me. Yeah, not a good move. I'm actually going to go back and make a different move. I'm not going to I'm going to wait till I have more of my men close or my guys closer. I love how fast paced it is, quite honestly. Uh, I moved, I had a feeling I moved him too quickly. Actually, let me move him to the back of here. Okay, let's see. Such a rewarding sound, the battle the battle music. Just feels feels good. You know, I never played Shining Force 3 on the Sega Saturn. Any of you play it before? I heard it was disappointing, especially if you only played the North American release, but the whole game came out in Japan. It did not come all to North America. Um, okay. I need to be healed. I don't think I have any weapons, do I? Yeah. Oh, I do have a medical herb. Medicinal herb. A medical herb, actually, they call it. retreat a little bit. I'm trying to see if there was a guard function. Persona 2, Matthew? Never played Persona 2. Strength in numbers. Bring us together. We are unstoppable. Um, I wonder how she does with attacking. Let me just see. Not bad. Critical hit. Hmm. 
Yeah, not bad. She's got good defense. be healed right now no man we all you, Matthew we all have a hard time finding time for RPGs man I, I seriously I'm right there with you but what's great about the switch is you can kind of play it for a little while before you go to bed maybe even while you're laying down ready to go to bed um, play a little bit of an RPG here and there you know the portable nature makes it easier uh, so that's why I love the Switch for that reason. don't stand a chance. Oh, I ran out of MP. That's not good. Um, give the medici medicinal herb to... Okay. <clears throat> talking. Mm. 13 Sentinels for the Switch or PS4. Great RPG. I'll have to check it out. Thank you for the recommendation. Level two, here we go. Leveled up. She should level up too, yep. Well done, Tyler. What should I do with this devil? Banish him. Oh, it disappeared. Well, problem solved. Hey, the kingdom has been saved. Game over, Tyler. Well done. Credits roll. <laughs> Shortest RPG ever. Oh, it just teleported. Playing some mind games with us here. Okay. Where did he go? Can I heal myself? Oh man, I didn't hold on, I don't want to waste that. Let's see. I wanna give that to somebody. Give Oh, he already has one. Use Chester. Yeah, he needs to use that because his HP is a little lower than I think. Oh, nothing happened. Never mind. I guess they're all leveled up. Their health is back. It went after the king, I bet. 
This is Shining Force 2, actually, uh, Mente Kato. Shining Force 2 on the Sega Genesis. What happened? Where's the king? Let me pass. I must see my father. Would he go to the roof? Don't jump! Oh, he's possessed. Do we have to fight the king? <laughs> Yow! <laughs> That was pretty cool. Nice. What kind of pizza did you have, Jacobians? Straw. What? What happened? Are you all right? Let me use your. Sh <laughs> he said shoulders. Let me use your head and shoulders shampoo. I have dandruff. Um, what are you talking about? I don't. I don't understand. Sigh. Astral. Astral is exhausted. He won't wake up. The minister summons the soldiers to the hall to kill the evil spirit. Now we're talking. Fight the evil Gizmo. Uh, which do you like better? Shining Force 1 or 2? I'd say 2 from what I remember, but honestly, I'm not super familiar with either game. I played it with uh, my buddy Brian. I don't know if he's still watching. Back in the day, I used to watch him play it, but I, I don't have a lot of uh, experience with the Shining Force games. I'm enjoying this, and I actually might continue this playthrough past this stream. Is he going to be okay? We... We are. He just fainted because he's been exhausted by the two battles and talking to you three. Don't worry about him if he dies. Oh, I missed, missed what he said there. I want to, I want this, uh, I'm, I'm assuming there's a boss battle. And you know, one thing I love about this game is how fast paced all the text and all the actions move. It's a really fast paced RPG and that keeps you on your toes. It keeps it, you know, the pace, good pacing in an RPG is needed. <clears throat> yes, I will go on my journey. I have nothing better to do. I could stay home and play video games, but instead, I'll go on this journey. Because you asked so nicely. Well, on that note, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and create a suspend point here. And I honestly think I'm going to call it a night, guys. I thought I would try this out. We, uh, we've we been playing this for the better part of two hours, I think, streaming these three games that came out. It was, uh, we can go back to the game selection to show you. Shining Force 2, Sonic Spinball, and Space Harrier 2 are all available on the Nintendo Switch Online uh, platform uh, for the Ge Sega Genesis. And... It's pretty sweet. I showed the guys earlier. Um, there's the uh, Mega Drive versions that you can get if you download the from the Japanese eShop, which there's tutorials online to show you how to do that. But if you download the uh, app from the Japanese eShop, 
you get the Japanese versions with the cool Japanese box art for all these games, which I love. I, I prefer the Japanese box art in many regards on a lot of these games. <clears throat> that Sonic Spinball box art is really cool. I love how bright and colorful they are. Look at that. Super cool. Well, hope you enjoyed the stream, guys. I am going to um, go ahead and get some rest. We're going to go out of town tomorrow, so no stream tomorrow night. And new main series, My Retro Life episode next week. We're also going to film our first batch of podcast-style different format um, videos uh, for the main channel. Uh, Brian and I are getting together to work on those, and those should be really cool. I'm excited to uh, get those out and, and, and going. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Have a good night, everybody, and a good weekend.